Access to affordable, reliable and modern energy remains a significant challenge in West Africa. The broader West Africa region has a 52% average access rate. This means 188 million people do not have access to electricity. Most countries suffer from unreliable supply, with shortages of around 80 hours per month and firms losing 5 to 10% of revenues as a result. In several countries in West Africa, electricity prices are above 25 US cents per kilowatt hour, which is more than twice the global average price of electricity. Many countries are too small to attract investments in large power projects or lack energy resources altogether. Instead, they rely on small-scale, expensive oil-fired power generation or emergency rental plants if they haven't planned for increased demand. Under the auspices of ECOWAS, 14 countries and 27 national electricity utilities are prioritizing an integrated regional power market known as the West African Power Pool, or WAP. The WAP promotes and develops power generation and transmission infrastructures, as well as coordinates power trade among ECOWAS member states. WAP is completing the physical interconnections that allow power to flow across borders, from countries with cheaper, cleaner and more abundant energy resources to those that lack them, from countries with stronger investment climates to those facing fragility. Already, 6.3% of the region's electricity is traded among the 10 countries already connected. Three countries, Benin, Togo and Niger, depend on imports for the majority of electricity they consume. By the early 2020s, the most critical cross-border links will be in place, making it possible for electricity to flow all the way from Dakar in Senegal to Lagos in Nigeria. The World Bank estimates that power trade in West Africa could lead to cost savings of 5 to 8 billion US dollars per year by allowing expensive power in one country to be replaced by cheaper power imports from neighbors. Trading power makes electricity more affordable by allowing all countries to benefit from the least cost resources available in the region developed at an economic scale. Trading power could bring electricity costs down by at least half in many West African countries. Trading power makes electricity more reliable by enabling countries to provide backup power resources across borders to deal with unexpected shortages like those caused by droughts. Trading power makes power generation more sustainable by displacing oil-based generation with cleaner sources of electricity like natural gas, hydropower and solar. Bigger markets attract private sector investment in power generation. Realizing the vision of an integrated regional power market in West Africa calls for infrastructure to build the missing links and collaboration among policymakers, regulators and utilities at the national and regional level to build the institutional and regulatory framework. There are already positive examples of countries benefiting from cross-border power development and trade. Since 2001, the Manantali hydropower plant on the River Senegal has been providing clean and low-cost electricity to Mali, Senegal and Mauritania through a regional transmission line. The plant was built under a tri-national partnership reflecting the fact that all three countries are riparian of this transboundary river. This allows the project to be developed on a much more economic scale than would have been possible for one country acting alone. With the imminent completion of the regional power grid, the time has come for West Africa to start reaping the benefits of cheaper and more reliable electricity 